next segment, which is around AI in India, right? Mm-hmm. And I and you have talked about a lot about this topic, right? Mm-hmm. So let me start by simply talking about uh, the use of AI to further India's development goals, right? Because India is a country which has a lot of capacity issues in uh, solving social issues and um, doing giving public service, right? Yeah, I think there's a lot of possibilities. Um, let me come back to Kautilya, the uh, Prime Minister uh, of um, Chandragupta. Chandragupta Maria, that's right. So um, he was kind of, he was a pretty clever uh, international relations and, and domestic policy theorist as well. And so he often used to talk about kind of a networked uh, view yeah. of, um, of things. Um, and I think that's really critical to, um, to how India can advance in AI and, and more broadly. Um, so advances on the domestic side can play into the international side. Um, things on um, kind of development, um, rural development can impact uh, human resource. Um, and um, when, when we're in the US, we often say that if something works in India, it'll work everywhere. Yep. Um, and so <laughs> the demonstration um, at the price points that are appropriate in India, um, the resilience and the robustness that's yep. needed in India. If you can demonstrate here, it'll work anywhere, like yep. in Africa and South America, even back in the US. Um, if it works in India, it'll definitely work sure. in the US. So, so that's how we view um, India. And India has, you were saying that there's limited uh, capacity. In fact, we view it as there's huge amounts of latent, latent <laughs> sure. capacity. Like, like, like it's a sleeping giant, sure. but if there's latent capacity, if it's awoken, yeah. then um, India will, will be, um, like the core partner uh, going, one of the core partners going forward. Sure.